Uh, so some topics I'll discuss today. I'll give some definitions and examples of, of research misconduct. And then uh, there's a big gray area of, of questionable uh, research practices. Uh, and then I'll, I'll discuss uh, some cases. You may have heard of the uh, human genome editing experiment uh, in China. Uh, that was one particular case that, that breached all kinds of uh, ethical protocols uh, where they uh, did uh, gene editing uh, of an embryo. Uh, and uh, you know, there's not only was that unethical in itself, but they also they didn't give all the doctors that participated in the study uh, credit. Uh, there's also um, informed consent was also violated as well. What is research misconduct? Uh, basically, it can be one of three things. It can be fabrication, which is like totally making up your results. Uh, falsification, this is you know, if you delete some data points uh, or like delete an outlier in your data set uh, to, to make your data look better. Uh, that's falsification. Um, Manipulating uh, images uh, is also data. Well, it's considered falsification of data. Uh, and then plagiarism. Plagiarism is considered uh, research misconduct. And uh, there's different types of plagiarism. Uh, most of it you can get around if you properly cite articles uh, and or if you paraphrase. Uh, you know, it, uh, instead of copying word for word from a a previously published manuscript, uh, you can paraphrase um, and, and put um, put ideas into your own, own words, uh, so that it minimizes the text overlap uh, from previously published papers. Uh, so basically, research misconduct uh, you know means fabrication, falsification, or plagiarism, uh, in either proposing research, like a research proposal, performing the research, or even reviewing research, or reporting research results. Uh, and this is from the Office of Research Integrity in the US. Uh, that's their definition. So fabrication, falsification, plagiarism. Uh, we call that FFP. So, uh, fabrication, again, is totally making up data or results, whereas falsification is uh, changing or, or omitting data or results. So that's the main difference between those two. Um, here's an example of image ma manipulation. Uh, and uh, you know, they played with the contrast. You can see on the left side, um, you know, the, the contrast uh, uh, is, is not that high. They, and then they deleted that uh, circle. It's like a vacuole, I think. And then on the right side is the manipulated image um, where uh, they manipulated the contrast. And, um, you know, and this is from uh, a journal. Uh, where they called out this image manipulation. What's in a picture? The temptation of image uh, manipulation. And this is actually one of the most common reasons for a retraction of a paper. Um, here's another, here's some red blood cells um, that were published uh, in Science in 2005. And I just put boxes around uh, the parts of the image that were, that were duplicated. Um, and then uh, in the journal Lung Cancer, uh, nine years later, uh, these same images uh, have appeared where they, they cut and pasted uh, the red blood cells uh, from one uh, publication to another one. Uh, so uh, they, they, they tried to move them around a bit. There's actually a software they use uh, to detect this type of uh, image duplication. Uh, here are some image duplications uh, in nature. Uh, this is the original publication in, in Nature in 2018. And, uh, and then, you know, within the image, uh, there's some, uh, you know, if you look at the, the boxes on top, the, the blue boxes are exact, exact duplicates um, within the figure. And the red boxes also show exact uh, duplication. Uh, and then uh, figure 5C and 5E, uh, it also shows uh, you know, image uh, manipulation, um, uh, actually between a control and a treatment. Um, you know, they, they just copied and pasted within the figure.